Greetings in the name of the Lord. In Proverbs 13, 20, it says, Walk with the wise and become wise. Many of the greatest athletes, musicians, businessmen and women, statesmen, stateswomen, they have accomplished great feats because of one common attribute that they all share, that they had a commitment to learning from other successful people. Michael Jordan, he, he became great because he learned and he copied his game from players before him. Kobe Bryant, he copied Michael Jordan. There is a master class, uh, it's on a website, uh, and it's an immersion of uh, online experience which, which gives everyone the opportunity to learn from the world's best practitioners in the arts, in business, culinary, and more. The bottom line is this, if we want to be faithful and excellent in what Christ has given us and what Christ has destined for us, we must keep learning and growing by investing in ourselves by attending classes, workshops, and maybe even coaching. For Jesus will use these teachers. He will use people. He will use experiences and a, a community of people to guide us in stretching our faith beyond our comfort zone, beyond our limitations, so that he can fashion us into his image. So I want to invite you to a Prophetic Training 3.0 presented by Prophetic Company and Transformation Hawaii. The dates are February 4th to the 6th, 2021. The cost is $100. And you can see more details in the description below. Uh, but you must, in order for attend and register Prophetic Training 3.0, you need to complete Prophetic Training or, or uh, Prophecy 101 and 201. Those are prerequisites before you can attend and register for Prophetic Training 3.0. The purpose for attending this training is to expand our faith and our abilities in moving and ministering in the prophetic. I want to share two things that you can expect to learn or receive by attending this training. Number one is that you'll be able to learn how to interpret visions, dreams, and God encounters. How cool would it be? that you would be able to interpret, discover the meaning of what God was saying in dreams and visions and encounters that you had. Personally, some of my biggest God encounters happened or occurred before I became a Christian. So how cool would it be to be able to write down the meaning of what God was saying, because that's what those visions and dreams and encounters are. It's just Him communicating to us in different ways. But I think it would be really cool that we get to learn and interpret the meaning of what He was saying to us in, in past dreams, present dreams, and even future dreams. Secondly, is that you will be able to learn how to access different dimensions of the spirit world. There's multiple dimensions. You can see in Daniel chapter 10 how Daniel is describing his interactions of angelic beings, different angels, some angels with greater authority than previous angels. So there is a rank and file. There is an order. There is a unique uh, landscape, if you will, in the, the, in the spiritual dimensions. And because David was able to perceive, he was able to understand the spirit world, it, it, it enabled him to be able to minister in the earthly or world system, particularly in the Babylonian Empire. How, how, how helpful would it be for us? Because right now, in this day and age, in this system, what we want to do is blow it up. <laughs> it's so tempting to just destroy it. But I don't think that would be wise. I don't think that's something that would be representative. Of Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God so the best thing we can do is actually do what Daniel did learn how to operate in the spirit world understand what's happening in the spirit world so that we can move in alignment with the Lord to be able to influence the earth 
in the system that we're living in for redemption, for restoration, for reconciliation that ultimately ushers people, families, and nations into the kingdom of God. In Ephesians 2, 6, it says that we are seated with Christ in heavenly realms. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Since if you've been raised to new life with Christ, set your, your sights on realities of heaven where Christ sits. So two verses that speaks of us being in this high position of power with Christ, one with Christ, and so we get to look at earth from his perspective and be able to move on earth in his way, in his nature. The greatest leverage and power we have on earth is our relationship with the Lord. And the question we have to ask ourselves for those of us who belong to Christ, what are we going to do with that? Are we going to sit, wait, and just, and just wait for his return and do nothing with what he has given us? Or we learn and we take what, what Christ is teaching us and use it to preach the gospel, to make disciples, and to disciple people, family, and nations so that they can enter into the kingdom of God. So I want to look forward. I uh, want to invite you to this prophetic training. All the details in the description below. May the Lord bless you.